ciência. What's up everyone, my name is Cobra and I want to thank you and welcome you to King Cobra Gaming. Uh, I'm going to be bringing you the best Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online content including tips and tricks, game playthroughs, news updates and a hell of a lot more. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop the video like if you're feeling the content and without further ado, let's get to the video. Alright, so in today's video I'm bringing you guys a top 5 tips and tricks video. So we're going to go ahead and start with number five. Number five is going to be pull out your knife if you get lassoed by someone. Um, you automatically just break the lasso free and you don't have to worry about getting hogtied. So yeah, if somebody throws a lasso at you, just go ahead and open your weapon wheel and go ahead and pull out pull out that knife and you'll break free and then tackle them and shoot them in the face. All right, coming in at number four, we have the lantern on the hip trick. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to equip your lantern and then equip a sidearm. And then you're going to want to point at your horse with the sidearm and then slowly walk to him and then mount your horse. As you're mounting your horse, you're going to pull the weapon wheel out and you're going to pull out both sidearms. As you pull out both sidearms, the game glitches out to where the lantern ends up on your hip and you're able to use two sidearms instead of one and holding the lantern bit of a fashion statement i would say and um yeah if you don't have a lantern on your horse if you're hunting at night if you're in a cave and need two hands definitely definitely worth it i'm gonna slow it down here for you so you can really see so i'm gonna pull out my my lantern and my sidearm i'm gonna mount my horse and i'm gonna pull out the dual wheel while I'm mounting the horse. So as soon as I get off, as you can see, that bullet go right by me, the the lantern stays on my hip. And uh, let's let's see, uh, let's see uh, don't, we don't play games. Lay down, you and your horse. <laughs> All right. Let's get let's get on to the next one. All right, so coming in at number three, we have the tonic trick. Um, this is going to allow you to keep drinking tonics over and over and not waste any. This also works with food as well, so keep that in mind. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull out your weapon wheel, go to the tonic, and you're going to want to drink the tonic. As soon as you drink the tonic, you're going to want to jump over an object. I like using this at camp just because it's so close and I don't have to be looking for what I can jump on and what I can't. So as you can see, I take the tonic, open the weapon wheel. As I take the tonic, I jump over something. When I open my weapon wheel again, you will see that I still have 15 and my cores are all the way yellow. So very, very neat trick. Like I said, it could work with food as well. Coming in at number two, we have the catalog book trick where uh, if you don't want to get kicked for inactivity, and if you feel like you're going to get up and go do something and you might take a little longer than 13 minutes, I think it's the the, the minutes that it takes for you to get kicked. Uh, open your catalog book. I'd suggest doing this at camp or in your moonshine shack just to be safe from other players. But yeah, you will not be kicked for inactivity. And coming in at number one. Uh, this one, this one's gonna give you the, the chance to save your goods, whether it be your moonshine goods, uh, moonshine bottles that you're selling, or your trader delivery goods that you're selling. And um, short or long distance delivery doesn't matter. It's gonna, it's gonna keep you from losing everything if you do find yourself um, with a, uh, with a, I don't want to call it a griefer, but with a, with another player that that might be feeling froggy and might want to mess with you and you, if you feel like hey I, I can't compete or hey I don't want to do this and sell my stuff all, all over again and wait uh, this trick is gonna come in handy um, what you're gonna want to do uh, as I ride along here I had my buddy um, uh, do me a favor and I told him uh, hey send it at, uh, a dynamite arrow straight to my face and uh, make sure you blow my uh, goods up and of course, you know, who's gonna say no to that? So, as soon as I pull up here near the revenues, uh, I had my buddy uh, log in and uh, told him, hey, uh, yeah, send that arrow my way. 
and sure enough he did and and about a couple of seconds here I should be going through here. there you go and uh what I'm not even gonna lie what I wanted to do was uh shoot him I wanted to do the the trick real quick but I was like no and then he killed me so there was no point in that so what you're gonna want to do is quit quit the application that's gonna be your best bet and um as I quit and I'm loading back in the game I'm gonna show you guys that you're gonna go back and here I am at camp I'm gonna make my way to the moonshine shack and here I am and as you can see on the top right corner all my goods all my moonshine bottles are still intact and I can go ahead and sell my moonshine and as I stated before it again this will work with your trader delivery as well so um and honestly this doesn't even have to be a griefer type thing or an online player trying to mess with you this can be you driving off a cliff i've been there plenty of times uh i've been there more with other players driving off cliffs and scattering for bags and um so yeah either way it works trader moonshine you'll save your goods so that's it for the video guys i'm gonna go ahead and call it a quits here and uh, I'm going to leave you guys with a little video towards the end, me shooting some uh, uh, lawmen. And uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon in the next Red Dead video.